Hello everyone, my name is Lori Bradner with the Florida Aviation Network and we are broadcasting live and in the clear from our studios right here at the Central Florida Aerospace Academy where we are the premier, I'm going to say the premier um, television network for Sun and Fun and we are celebrating the 49th annual Sun and Fun and it's always such an honor to be at this desk because of the individuals that we get to talk to. Uh, many of you know that I am a teacher at heart and so it is always an honor and a privilege when I get to talk to someone who has been a mentor and someone that I consider to be a champion uh, for all educators, um, for all from, from K to 12 and post-secondary. And so today it is truly my honor and pleasure to welcome Barbara Walters Phillips. Barbara, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today with us. And I meant what I said. You are, Rita Pearson said it best, you are a champion. Every child needs a champion, but you know what? Teachers need champions too, and you're that champion. So thank you, thank you for being here today. It's wonderful to have you here. Well, thank you so much, Lori, and those were very kind words. I appreciate that. I meant it. Well, one of the things that we, I tell you what, when I think of Sun and Fun, Ben had asked me earlier, what do you, what do you love about Sun and Fun? Well, for me, Barbara, it's the educational perspective. And yes. it's the education not only of our young people, and we've got young people on our cameras here and young people volunteering all over, but it's also that education piece. And when you say education at Sun and Fun, it is education equals Barbara Walters Phillips. So, okay, so it, it, it kind of goes synonymously. So, Barbara, um, one of the staples, something that is near and dear to my heart, I've participated in, I know many, many teachers that have, is the Sun and Fun Teachers Workshop. And so I want to kick it off, and I'm going <laughs> to hand it to you to tell us all about the workshop, tell us what's going on, and hopefully there's still room because I know there's teachers out there that are listening yes. and they need to sign up. This is the best PD they will ever get. So I'll wow. take it away. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. You well, of course, I feel it's a wonderful day, so exciting, and lots of great opportunities for teachers who are maybe new to integrating the aerospace into their curriculum or for those who have been with it for a while yeah. because we always bring in new presenters and new ideas. Yeah. Uh, this year is really extra exciting because yeah. I've always had a dream of having a C5 be part of the teacher workshop. Well, no C5 has been at Sun and Fun, mm -hmm. but this year there's a C5 coming. No way. Yes. Okay, I have to ask. Now, I don't know if you can tell us because I don't want to give anything away. So how are you, I've got to ask, how are you going to incorporate that? Well, we're going to make the C5 the location of our opening ceremony. Oh, my God. Yes. So, all right. So, so tell me the process. So, when the teachers come, and do the do the teachers know this? Yes. They okay. All right. We I say, they do now. They, they do right. now. <laughs> they do know okay. when they arrive. Uh, they will come through main registration to our the e-ticket window where we meet them and get their wristband. Right. Then they'll come on through and get their tote bag. Yes. With all their wonderful supplies yes. inside. Yeah. And then we're going to have them board a tram. Yes. So you're taking, they're going to be out on the flight line. Oh, yes. We're going to the oh, C5. My. So we're going to get on the tram and take them to the flight line. They'll get to see the C5. And then they're going to be inside the C5 for the opening ceremony. That is awesome. Oh, my gosh, Barbara. Now, let me ask you a question. So after the opening ceremony, now, you know they're not going to want to leave. Right. So, right. So, okay. So then how are you, okay, here, this begs the question, Barbara, how are you going to get them off the C5? Because if that was me, I would stay on the C5. How are you going to get them off the aircraft to get them back to the workshops? And, you know, can you tell us a little bit about what, what these teachers are going to experience, what they're going to experience, what kind of workshops they're going to be going through? What are mm -hmm. they going to be learning that they can then take back and teach to their students? Well, being a teacher myself, yeah. and I know how they can wander and get lost, yeah. <laughs> we are going to keep the trams to bring them back. Okay. Uh, when we finish, we're going to have um, our new CEO, Jean Conrad, will be one of our speakers welcoming yes. them. And when we finish with the opening 
and I will also say that the CFAA uh, Junior RTC Color Guard will be there also in the C5. So we're really excited. When we finish that, we're going to take our group photo by the C5, and then we're going to put them back on the trams. Okay. Okay. So no uh, wanderers. No wanderers. Okay. No, and that's for safety too. Absolutely. Right. It is. And then we'll come back here to uh, the CFAA, and okay. our sessions are on the third floor. Okay. And we have uh, three choices every hour at nine o'clock, ten o'clock, and eleven o'clock. So they'll, they'll get their program book and be able to see who's presenting okay. and choose one session each hour. What are some of the sessions, Barbara? What are, um, you know, for our audience that, that's listening, you know, what are some of the things that the teachers can choose from? Well, we have Dr. Charlie Rodriguez, who has been with us before, and he creates new gizmos, as he calls them, every <laughs> year. And he's been so excited the last couple months uh, We've had emails and saying about the new gizmos okay. for this year. So uh, he will be there. Okay. And uh, along with that, we have Steve Kirsch, who uh, was a NASA, a NASA fellow yes. uh, a, a few years ago and is going to be doing a session on NASA and what is available to teachers in that area. We have uh, my friend Susan Millette from mm -hmm. Civil Air Patrol. She was just here and spoke to Ben, absolutely. Wonderful. Yep. Well, she's going to be doing a session tomorrow and talking about all the educational materials. I think CAP has great materials. Um, and again, K, you know, kindergarten all the way through high yep. school with their programs. And these STEM kits that they have are awesome. Phenomenal. They yeah. really are. So she will talk about those STEM kits and how a lot of those can be used in the classrooms. Okay. Um, we have a lot of uh, with new people coming in. Uh, we have some robotics. We have uh, drones. And we have our friend Steve Bro, uh, yeah, Steve, uh, Bro coming down from uh, the New England area with the FAA. And he is going to be talking about drones, but the teachers are going to design an obstacle course. And then they have to fly the little drones through the obstacle course. I love it. Yeah. So now, where are they going to, um, so they're actually the teachers. This is, you know, one of the things I think is so important is that this is, these are hands on. Very much so. These are hands, hands and minds on science, technology, engineering, and math. I know that you mentioned STEM, and so yes. you know, for our viewers that may not, you know, we've got a lot of acronyms um, that science, technology, engineering, and math, and um, but it's it's hands on, it's minds on. It sounds like it really is very these, much so. These yes. teachers get to be active now. Over the years, how long have you done this? Barbara, well, a long time. you know, I, I really hadn't thought about that. And okay. so the other day I was trying to figure that out. This is actually my 30th year as chairman of the workshop. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh. I can't believe it. Okay. Like, Kudos it to you. <laughs> that is amazing. 30 years. Well, I love teaching all of this, yeah. what I do back in Orlando. And, and just, you know, ever since we started sharing it and getting other teachers involved, yeah. uh, it's just something I look forward to doing each year. You know what, I've never had, and if you're all right if I deviate just a little bit, Barbara, I've never really had the chance to ask you, and after you just said that, where did this all start? Where did the dream start? Because this is your brainchild, so how did you come up with this? And you've, it's been going strong for 30 years. Where, where was the seed, where well, did it start? Raylene started the workshop um, a couple years before okay. I came, and he got it going. I still have a couple people on my committee who were with Raylene, um, okay. Sandy Arnold's patron, yes, De Dolores Kiebel, yes, Ron and Patsy Bird. Yes. They are the originals. Okay. So they have been with it every year, and it's just a joy to work with them, and we all have parts of the workshop that we work on and put together. Right. Uh, but yes, they, the Raylene then, we started the Raylene Award okay. uh, as a tribute to Mr. Lean right. because he started the workshop. So now That's we awesome. every year choose uh, one outstanding aerospace educator and Laura, you have received that. I yes. Have. I'm honored. Yes. And every year, every yeah. year, and a new name is added to the plaque. 
and yes. that, that is displayed here on the campus. Yeah. And then each, uh, the, the person, the teacher who receives the award has a plaque to take home. And it's in so, my office. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Yep. yep, I keep it with me. And that so that's how it me. started. So then every year, and we've now added that information to our website, okay. and people can send in nominations. Nice. And then we have a committee who chooses the new recipient each year. Okay. Now, so you started, you, you basically started as a teacher going to the workshop? Right. I came to the workshop, and I, I met Billy Henderson. And Billy said to me, you know, I need you to take over this workshop. Yeah. And, and I, well, okay. And my background was that I had done a workshop at BWI Airport okay. in, uh, in Maryland, where I used to live many years ago. Right. But I started uh, there, and we used their little, some of their little restaurants would close on a Saturday for us. Um, there, I remember the E1 hold room. Uh, we <laughs> would have our sessions all around the terminal. And, you know, people didn't think we could do that. But there again, that was another dream I had. I wanted to have a, yeah. a workshop at BWI. Yeah. And when I first called, they were kind of paused and said, okay. can we call you back tomorrow? And they said yes. And okay. honestly, we, we had just hundreds of teachers who came to that. Wow. at the airport every year. So when Billy asked me, um, I, we talked about that, and I said, well, you know, okay, oh. we'll give it a try. <laughs> the answer is yes, and so, we'll figure it out. Yes. So, and now 30 years later. Yeah, I can't believe it. I really did not realize it till this week. And it gets bigger and better each year. Well, we hope so. No, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Goal. Now, let me ask you, when... Is there, and I have to ask because we may have individuals listening and teachers that are listening, right. or maybe they've got their classes tuned in. Um, is there a cap, Barbara? Is it too late to sign up? How, you know, tell teachers, and if they missed it this year for next year, because we're going to expect you to do it next year too, so <laughs> 31, um, how do they sign up? How do they find, find out about this? How do they get involved? How can they sign up? And can you talk to them a little bit about the in-service points right. that they get? Because as a teacher and for teachers, that's so important for the continuing, cert their continuing certification. So can you kind of address that, you know, how do you find out, is it too right. late to tomorrow? And talk a little bit about the in-service points right. that they get. Well, we have on the Sun and Fun website. So okay. if they go to the flysnf.org okay. and they choose Educators Workshop, okay. it will take them right to the information about it as well as the registration form. Okay. And we're very happy that they can now register online. Everything is wow. online. Um, they can, of easy. course, print the registration and mail it in. We also have the address there okay. uh, to mail that. Um, but all the way up till tomorrow. Really? Yes, and what we do though is if they register in advance, okay. then we are able to give them their parking pass. Okay. And so if they choose to come tomorrow and they don't have that ahead of time, they, okay. they will have to pay for their parking. But um, they will come in then for the workshop. Um, we, we just try to allow walk-ins though every Absolutely. year. And they do get uh, in-service points okay. uh, because they are, they are learning things. Yeah. And I, I should mention, uh, while we're out there at the opening ceremony, uh, we do the drawing for four teachers to fly with the Aeroshell team. Yes! So where <laughs> in this country would you have a workshop where you get on a C5 and a chance to fly with the Aeroshell team? Yeah. Nowhere. 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 Only at Sun and Fun. Only at Sun and Fun. No, I love that. And um, I know that those are coveted spots, and the drawing is awesome. Um, so now let me ask you, Barbara, for the teachers, how many in-service points do they get for the day, and then how do they go about? Is that something that your group handles? Is that something that's sent to the districts? Because one of the things that um, I want to just do a shout-out is this is not just for Polk County teachers. Right. So this is for teachers all over. I mean, we can have teachers from all over. They can be from different yes. counties, different states. If they're here, we yes. want to do a shout out. And I, as I will tell you, as someone who has been through these workshops as a teacher, even if you've never flown, even if aviation is not, you know, something you've ever thought about, 
Um, I was listening to um, Susan Millette, who said when they came to her, they wanted her to pilot that program with her classes, and she said, I don't know anything about it. They're, you're exactly the people we want. We want you to come in because there's so much more, oh, yes. Barbara, to each of these sessions that you can choose to go to that you can take back to your students. So how do they go about getting those in-service points? We give them a certificate okay. that shows five points for coming because they are learning throughout the That's day. That's huge. Yeah, five points. That's huge. And then, as you said, they do take that back to their district. Okay. Each district is different. Right. Sometimes they have to do a lesson and then submit the certificate along with their lesson plan okay. that they did. It varies from one district to another, okay. but I've not ever had anyone who had a problem with no. taking it back and, and being able to use that. No, it, and just they have to comply with their district. Right, so just follow the mm -hmm. district. You know, what they do right. is they follow their district protocols um, and procedures. And let me ask you, um, you know, Barbara, we, I, again, thank you for everything that you do for educators here and for how long, and thank your team. I know some of your team members. And, They're wonderful. Um, some of them are near and dear to my heart. They're, uh, you just, everything that you do is awesome. Um, is there... Are there any last words, any, anything you would want to say to teachers, any um, last promotion you want to do? Because you will still take walk-ins. So I want to mm. shoot it back to you for that. Yes. I would just like to invite anyone, and especially if you've never tried integrating the aerospace into your curriculum, because tomorrow's presenters have absolutely everything you need to go back and start in your classroom on Monday. Right. You know, whatever session you would like to choose, you're going to be getting a lot of materials given to you tomorrow and a lot of cool little things uh, from Civil Air Patrol and NASA in your tote bag. And it's a special little tote bag with our Apple logo on yes, it. Yay. And they're really, it's, it's easy to get started. It, it's easier now than a few years ago because right. there are so many wonderful materials available and we want you to meet those people tomorrow and learn about them and then take them back and use them and yeah. I've always found that when I go somewhere I'm, I'm really excited if I get a new idea that I can take right. back and use right away so that's always been important to me when I talk to presenters mm -hmm. uh, we do have another new one they've started a Starbase um, in Orlando and it's uh, what is that Starbase is a program that originally started in Michigan and it was a, a program for fifth graders, and it's on wow. a military base. But we don't have a military base in Orlando, so right. they have it. It's part of the Navy training out by UCF. So they are going to come and do a presentation. But, yes, fifth graders go there for, like, I believe a week, or they choose okay. their days. Okay. And, again, it's learning the aviation and the space. So lots of new people with new ideas tomorrow. It's like space camp in Orlando. It really is. Do they take adults? <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be cool, go? right? That would be cool. Can yeah. we sign up to go? And you know what? You brought up a point um, that I love. That's I. We are always as teachers trying to find ways that we can engage. It's the five E's. Being able, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to engage your students. Right. And I have to be. Even if a teacher is not, you know, if, if they've never thought about aviation or space or mm -hmm. integrating it, what I love about science, technology, engineering, math, and what you do in all of the groups is that it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what subject area you teach. Right. It, they have something for everyone that is, whether they're in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, all the way up to high school. Right. And I want teachers to know, Barbara, I think it's so important that they realize that they can integrate this whether you're an ELA teacher, whether you're a mathematics teacher, whether you're a science teacher, yes. whether you're a reading teacher. Mm -hmm. I've never met a child that has turned away from a robot, a drone, an airplane, a rocket, space, or stars. Right. And so if, true. if the teachers, this gives the teachers the tools mm -hmm. and teachers to engage your students we can still teach the standards, we can still unpack, we all know about the best standards, in, oh. <laughs> oh, we all know about it, but how creative and how wonderful if you can teach it using these timely, 
wonderful resources that truly engage students and promote right. the future, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Well, we have uh, last year's Raylene Award recipient as a presenter. We always invite them to come back yes. and be a presenter the next awesome. year. So he's, uh, Dave Cohen is going to be talking about uh, how students can get their private pilot's license. And he awesome. has taught a lot of classes in Lake County about doing that. Yes. So he's coming, and we have some people also coming from Embry-Riddle tomorrow to talk about their program. So see a lot of variety. There's yep. something for everyone. There is. Well, Barbara, I want to say thank you to you again. Thank you for being a champion for teachers. Thank you for the past 30 years. We're going to expect 30 more. Okay, so keep on keeping on. Uh, we need you. Teachers need you. And I certainly want to do an invitation uh, to all the teachers out yes. there, K through 12, those of you tuning in and those of you that are tuning in, talk to your neighbor teachers. Um, please come out because I promise you it will be the best professional development that you've ever attended with. Um, I think I want to come again. Unfortunately, I'm locked. I'll be here, but I want to come because I want to have an opportunity. Um, Barbara, thank you again for joining us and just for all that you do here at Sun and Fun promoting education. My name is Lori Bradner. We're here with the Florida Aviation Network. We are broadcasting live and in the clear at the 49th annual Sun and Fun. Come see us here this weekend.